Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be testing out a thousand dollars of brand new makeup you guys may have seen on Wednesday. I did another big PR unboxing. I have a huge giveaway in that video. And the stuff that I pulled from that that I wanna try, I'm gonna try a lot of it today. So, if you wanna see the massive like unboxing, I'll link it below. But today we are testing out everything from Marc Jacobs, Kevin Aquan, I have some Wander, I have Make It Forever, I've even got Tarte, I have Pat McGrath stuff that I've held on to for a minute to test out on camera. So yeah, we're just gonna get to it. I have allergies, oh my gosh, you guys. I woke up sneezing just like so much, so I feel like my whole face is just like, uh. I am already wearing also, by the way, like if my face doesn't match my body, I already <laughs> tested out something new before sitting down. And that is from Sol de Janeiro. This is the Ipanema Sunset Glow Oil. It makes your skin look really beautiful. It does feel a little bit sticky. So I'm hoping that kind of goes down. It smells great. It's supposed to be very transfer resistant, but I thought that I would wear like a cute off the shoulder situation and amp up the glow and we would just play with makeup and keep it glowy and fresh. I'm going to start out by taking this primer from Paracone. Now I mentioned this very briefly in my primer declutter and I do like this right in the T-zone area where I normally take my Tarte primer, but I wanted to show you guys this one in action. It is super good. It's very, very light, and this would be perfect if you wanna to touch up your makeup with it because it's so sheer, or if you like a little pour fill on a no makeup day. I'm gonna move right into this Make It Forever Ultra HD Perfector. This is a blurring skin tint. Now, I know that I like more coverage, so I feel like I am gonna definitely take a foundation on top of this, but I was super curious just to see what this on its own would do. I always wanna do more like natural, glowy, no makeup, makeup, type routines, but I feel like everybody is so sick of those and you really know the steps to getting that type of a look. So I don't do it that often, but this is the kind of product that would fit into that type of a routine beautifully. I have an eye doctor's appointment today, so I am gonna kind of take you with me if I can get this done fast enough so that we can see how long everything wears and what the full day scoop is. So let's scoot right along to foundation. I'm gonna skip this step on camera because I am gonna be using my Laura Mercier, which you guys have seen me use 5,000 times. I wanna use something as far as a base to use all of these newer products on top of so I know it's not a new foundation that's not working, that it's the products on top. Dang, I feel really tan and I'm not at all right now. From Wander Beauty, I have the Duelist Matte and Illuminating Concealer. This has two ends to it. I don't really, I don't know, I don't understand. So, oh, this is a liquid illuminator. Why do I feel like I've tried this and I didn't like it or it reminds me of something similar that I didn't like? No, that's not bad. Okay, so I'm gonna put this underneath my eyes and pat it out. I normally don't like this kind of a concealer, so this should be really interesting. Ooh, it's a little weird to use. It's like a little lipstick bullet. I'm gonna take my fingertips first and just kind of pat this in. I'm actually really surprised by that. Usually these kind of concealers are a little bit too creamy in my opinion, and this has not a powdery finish, but it just has a nice finish and it's pretty full coverage. Huh, I am gonna take some of the other end on top of it because more is more and because I'm just curious and I want to try it. So this is like more the illuminating side. I don't know, maybe I'm making a mistake. We're gonna find out. This is not bad. All right, to set this, I am gonna take my Winky Luxe powder. I have a Marc Jacobs powder that I'm gonna test out, but I just, I could tell by opening it up and looking at it that the texture is not one that you wanna put underneath your eyes. So I'm just gonna do this really quickly to lock the concealer in so it won't crease. I wanna go in here. This is new from Marc Jacobs and this is part of their coconut collection. And this looks like it's gonna be that very just like fine, do you know what I'm saying? Like that finely milled type of a thing that sometimes if you go under the eye with that, it can just be kind of weird. I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to set my entire face with this new <laughs> dusty. And she's powdered. Okay, we are moving right into another Marc Jacobs product. I am a little bit confused by this because is this the same limited edition shade that they had last year. This is the Tantastic number 104 Omega Bronzer. 
This smells like coconut and plastic, um, but it smells really good. And this has rose gold detailing on it. This is not gonna be available permanently. It is limited, so grab it if you can, while you can. This is a beautiful bronzer. I kind of have a love-hate with Marc Jacobs bronzers. Sometimes they sit on the skin really beautifully for me, and other times they just look like patchy crap. So it's one of those weird things. I don't know why, but that's always been my experience. And then I'll hear someone like really rave about it and they'll be like, oh yeah, I have that. I should use that again. And I'll use it and I'll be like, wow, so good. And I'll use it for a few weeks and then it'll like, I don't know, stop impressing me. It's the only product that really has done that. Or I have like on and off feelings about this bronzer. Oh my gosh, I need like a headband when I film. Seriously, this is bad. Where were we? We need some blush and highlight and then some eyes. For blush, I got sent these Neo blushes from Kevin Aquan. I'm gonna choose one for myself and then I'm gonna put the others in the giveaway from yesterday. All right, so I think I wanna take the color Pink Sand and they have four new colors. These are $38. Oh no! Shoot, they're all broken. <gasps> that really sucks, dude. I'm gonna use it anyway. Is that crazy of me? I'm just gonna go ahead and use it anyway. It's really pretty. Just maybe buy it in store and not online. Oh my God, that just like literally got over all of my makeup. Really pretty. Like look at how pretty that is. Very, very beautiful. Don't travel with them though. Dang, that is like a really, really beautiful blush though. Is that not so gorgeous? Holy smokes. Why do you have to be broken? I feel like my lips need something. Like even though we're gonna move to eyes and brows, I am just gonna put on a little gloss because they're driving me nuts. Minty, this is a topper from Urban Decay. Does not match my blush, but at least my lips feel a little more comfortable right now. Okay, so we are going to move on to eyes and I am gonna take some of the new smaller Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes. I posted this on Instagram. I was having like a weird, let me photograph makeup moment. It was not a sponsored deal at all. It was my photography. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw that or not. I think I'm gonna start doing that more if I have time where I can actually just post like pictures of newer launches and it's not even about getting likes on a photo or anything like that. It's just like sharing with you guys things that I see in my PR or that I go out and purchase because these I purchased myself that I'm really excited about. So I think I wanna make a habit of that. I'm gonna go ahead in this shade and work it into the crease to begin with. So while I'm blending this, let's look at swatches of all three of the palettes. There's the Bronze Ambition palette, which I'm using today, and then we have the Le Vion Rose palette, and then there is also one called the Platinum Bronze. Ugh, it is so hard to get my eyes even. This eye is smaller than this eye, and it always makes me kind of crazy. Like when I'm doing makeup on camera, because usually if I'm doing makeup just by myself, no camera, I'm like this close to the mirror, I'm doing this, I'm like checking. It's just so much harder to do that and stay in focus, so... Let's hope we got it even. I am still only using the same brush and that first color. Like I'm really blending this to high heaven and just using this as an all over base. Now I'm gonna take this shade right here on a smaller brush and I'm gonna go on the outer edge. And I'm grabbing it on like the flat side of the brush and we're gonna tap this right here. So this will be the darkest part of it, but I am gonna take this all over the lid. Do you guys have any shows that you're really into right now? Because for me, I cannot stop watching Silicon Valley. I love that show so much. And I actually think that beyond it being like totally hilarious and my kind of like dry humor, it's also like filled with life lessons about business and how if you screw people over, you're only gonna get screwed right back. And I love that that's like part of the theme of the show. And it's also just so freaking hilarious. Who watches that? And if you do watch it, what, what other shows do you like? Like, I need a new funny show. Like, I cannot watch any more This Is Us or drama shows right now. Like, I need light, funny, half hour, quick, fun shows. Like, what are you guys into? Or what do you suggest that I binge watch? Like, I need this. This is really pretty. Okay, so this is just two shades. That's really cool. All right, I'm gonna go in with a flat brush. I am also gonna take this Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. I love Cover FX for the fact that they don't put alcohol in their setting sprays. I think that is awesome. And I've been, ooh, 
That sprayed weird. I've been dying to play around with this. All right, I'm going to take this coppery shade right here all over the lid. We'll just see how that goes. Whoa. Dang, you guys, that is beautiful. That is way more potent than I thought it would be. This is really, really pretty, and I've only used three shades. I actually wanna move on to using a different product. Now, this I did put in the PR unboxing, and it's from Tarte. And I kinda just wanted to like check these out and swatch them. These are $22. They came out with three brand new ones. This might go perfect, like right in the center. This is Frosé, and then we have Beach Bay. I don't know what would work better. But I wanna try one of these. And then there is the shade Sun Drenched. I do kinda of wanna tap Beach Bay on top of what I have going on just to kinda of see how it layers. I know I have a lot going on. It's just, it's happening. We're just hands deep in the makeup and we're going for it. That's really pretty. Love that. I have this right here, you guys. This is so cool, the packaging. I love this color. Like has nothing to do with the product itself, but I just really like the packaging. Uh, this is a liquid liner, like a felt tip liner from Pat McGrath. Ooh, that is really watery, but hmm. Okay, we're gonna try this out, we're gonna see. We're gonna do a little, little lining. You guys know I have been so into Smashbox that nothing else like really even compares. So I'm really curious to see how this wears. All right, I need a close-up mirror. I'm gonna straighten this out and put on some brows, and I am gonna be using something brand new for brows today. It is from The Balm, and this is called the Ferocious, Ferocious <laughs> Brow Pencil, and I'm using dark brown. Looks like this. It's one of those micro-tip pencils. You guys know how much I love that. So I'm going to apply some brows, finish up this liner, and I will be right back. Wow, that brow pencil is pretty great. So I got my liner on. I have like a little baby wing type of a situation that I like. And now we need to test out some mascara. So my lashes are already curled and we have this mascara right here from Wander. This is called the Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. Comes in a very interesting tube. I'm excited about this. Nice brush. It's pretty, it's not really doing as much as I thought it would because I still wanna pop on some falsies and I am going to smudge some color underneath the lower lash line as well, so let me get to that. I'm gonna take the first shade that we used and just really buff that on the lower lash line. All right, I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna dip into the sun-drenched chrome paint. That's actually going on a lot darker than I thought it would. So I'm gonna go into this shade right here and top it off. I did wanna pop this in the waterline. This is also from Pat McGrath and this is an actual eyeliner, not felt tip, just like normal eyeliner. And I have this shade, shade. All right, I'm gonna be really random and actually keep my lashes just as is. A, I'm going to the eye doctor and I don't want them to be like, why are you wearing those? Like, like it is the middle of the afternoon. Please take those off so we can examine your eyes. So I am going to highlight with, where'd it go? This is exciting. All right, we are gonna highlight with the JLo collaboration with Inglot and this is really pretty. I have been playing around with this and I like it. Ooh, I mean, that is like the perfect shade. I love this. Am I J-Lo yet? This is beautiful, I really like it. Okay, so I am gonna try out a red lipstick from Dior. This is a plumping liquid lip. I don't know if this is gonna go, we might take it off, but let's just kind of try it and see what happens. Whoa. I was actually not expecting it to have this much pigment. I think I really surprisingly like this lip product and I put a bunch of these in the giveaway from yesterday as well, so check that out, different colors. This is supposed to be plumping. I don't really know how that would work because it does feel a little bit sticky and dry, like there might be alcohol in here. It goes on a little bit watery, kind of like a 
uh, lip stain, but it's really, really pigmented and I do like this. I think it's pretty and shiny and we're gonna see how long this wears, how long everything else wears and I will fill you guys in at the end of the day. But let's go ahead and set the face with the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. Ooh, the mist on here is really nice. Wow, that was so much new stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have to change because sadly I got blush like all over my dress that I'm wearing with yoga pants. <laughs> um, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna go and get my eyes checked and we will see how long all of this new makeup that just launched lasts. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Lunch. Dog. James. Husband. <laughs> okay, I'm, is it on? Yeah. I'm blind at the moment. I'm getting my eyes checked and being good about my vision and caring for my eyes. You guys, I have numbing drops in right now. I look like I've been crying. I think I destroyed all of this stuff here with my foundation and whatnot. But um, yeah, at the end of this video, if my makeup looks totally jacked up, this is why. Holy smokes, that looks so creepy. I was about to do my final check-in and there's like me in the background. That is not, <laughs> this is not my normal bedroom setup. Oh my gosh, you guys have to see this though. This was sent to me from YouTube. It's like made up of comments. It's really, really cool, but um, I told James that it would be really, really creepy for me to wake up out of bed and see that first thing. So of course he put it there and I've just been too lazy to move it. The eye makeup, especially the eyeliner, held up so well considering that my eyes were all like watery and like the eye doctor was doing like this and like pulling on me and I'm like, ooh, the makeup is just getting it just like worked out right now, you know? So the eye makeup gets a really big thumbs up from me the brows are really actually pretty good, right? Concealer, not so much. Mascara was great. The Dior lip plumper thing, no, it wore off too fast. And the Marc Jacobs powder, I'm gonna have to play with again. I wasn't like so locked and tight with my makeup that I felt like it was a good, good foundation day. So I wanna play with that some more, but all in all, it was fun to try out new things. I mean, it always is. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you did, you know the drill. Thumbs this up, be subscribed, ring the bell, hit the bell, punch the bell, um, and talk to each other and say nice things to one another in the comment section. And I hope you guys are having a good one. Quick reminder, I do have a giveaway going on still in yesterday's video, so check that out. And I love you so much. I hope whatever you are doing, you are having a great one. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.